Is this the last Fat to Fit transformation episode? What's good with it? It's Thursday. So, it's just been... I've been busy, 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 busy. I've been doing nothing but recording, editing, posting videos, and packing my clothes. It's like insane how much I need to pack. It's insane how much I know I need to bring, and it's insane how much I can't bring, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm going to be in another country for four months, so... I have to pack everything with a minimalist mindset. So I only get a checked bag, a carry-on, and a personal item. Which sucks. It does suck. But the bright side is that... I get to really immerse myself in the culture. Anyways, enough with the blah, blah, blah. Thursday, it is 12.30 p.m., and I'm going to have my first meal. Can you believe that I, it just dawned on me that I don't have a scale here. Like, my sister's scale is at her house, and I'm here at my mom's house. So I can't weigh myself every day. My first meal... I'm going to have some peanut butter and banana instant oats. Two packets of these. That puts me at 60 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat. So I'm going to have these two. And I'm also going to have a Nature Valley granola cup. And I'm going to have... A caramel protein shake and then a pure protein bar you guys honestly hate me like this is the 11th episode this is like the third week and I'm still eating the same things but like I said before consistency is key Consistency is key. Discipline and consistency will yield results. Nothing else will, I promise you. So I'm gonna crush this. See ya. See, this is what, ha this is what happens when you start getting YouTube checks and you start becoming famous and you start making big bucks. You can afford getting stuff shipped to your house, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. But an alphalete is an individual who inspires others to dream more, learn more, and be more. And if that's not what encompasses official fly fitness, I don't know what does. So I got my first ever alphalete gear. And my boy watching this, he's probably going to be so pissed. But, hey... The definition of an alphalete is I'm inspiring others. So if I was, if I beat him to the punch, that should just inspire him. But check it out. Woo! This is, this is fresh. This is fresh. I got a medium. Um, I was going to get a large, but they said that it doesn't really, these, these kind of run a little big. So... This is dope. I'm going to be excited. I'm, I'm excited to rock this out. The texture is really nice. It has a a raised raised letter here. It's like a rubbery material. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not the type of person to be like, wow, I can really feel the nice polyester tri-blend that this is incorporated with. It's probably 70. Nah, I don't really know all that much. What's up? So, let me show you my... Um, it's 4 o'clock right now, 
So, I guess I'll show you my pre-dinner. Tell me that don't look good. That's two servings of shrimp. Two servings. Well, one serving of Brussels sprout is in there cooking with the shrimp. And I have another serving of Brussels sprouts I'm going to have on the side. That puts me at around 4 grams of fat, 40, 44 grams of protein, and 14 grams of carbs. My math is so good. I might have that for my pre-dinner. I might have another protein bar. Maybe another protein shake as this is cooking. And then for my dinner, I have another meal. I like to eat throughout the day because I don't want to have a big dinner. I, don't, I do not like having a big dinner. So, I'm going to crush this, continue packing my clothes, and that's it. It's a boring day today. Boring Thursday. What's up, guys? Today is Friday, and I'm going to have, uh, it is around 11.30 in the morning. Yesterday, I just did all this, all like, I did the recording, and then once I hit like five, I was just like stuck editing and everything, and then I ate dinner. And then I just had pasta and chicken, super generic with some pasta sauce. Um, I was probably under 2,500 calories yesterday. But uh, this today, what I'm going to have for my first meal is the same thing. But instead of two packets of oats, I'm going to have three. Because yesterday I was significantly under my carbs. And to get to my carbs, I would have had to have like three and a half servings of pasta. And I didn't want to eat that at like seven at night that's just too much so i'm gonna have that i'm gonna try this cookies and cream pro uh protein shake and then i'm gonna have a protein bar so i'm gonna crush this see y'all later uh, i'm so tired Bruh. for no reason it's been a minute since i've been in the car right that just goes to show you my life these past couple of days. My life has been nothing but packing, packing, and more packing. I don't know if it's the stress or if it's the stress, but I've been feeling there's a police officer right here. I don't know. What can I do? I'm recording myself still. Can I get him in the cut? Ah, uh, he passed by. Anyways, I've been feeling super sick. I've been feeling super, super, super sick. And I really think it's been the stress, but these past few days, like, I feel like my lymph nodes have been swollen. Well, they have been swollen. I can feel them. And on top of that, I've been hard to swallow. I've had mucus. So I just went to the doctors. I know that it's nothing serious. Like, it's not strep or anything like that, but... The last thing I wanted was it to possibly be something serious, go abroad, and I'm stuck abroad, and try to go to the doctors abroad. I don't even know the kind of hassle that would be. So, I went to the medical center, good news, not strep, and they said that by the time I'm leave, by the time I leave, I should be feeling better. So, that's good news to me! What am I doing now? I'm on my way to go pick up my little brother and I am gonna go to my dad's house just chill with my dad and my brothers and my sisters for a little bit because I probably won't be able to see them again until I leave and I just wanted to see them before I got on the plane so that's gonna be my day you guys saw what I had to eat today. I haven't eaten anything else because I don't know if there's gonna be food or anything over there at my dad's house. So I didn't wanna f eat a lot while I'm home and then go over there and then be forced to eat some more and then come back, get be hungry and then eat some more again and then just be way over my, my macros. But that's gonna be today. I'll see ya later. Today is Saturday, Fly Fit Fam. Today is Saturday, Fly Fit Fam. I just had the usual oatmeal, protein, bar, and shake. Oh, 
I kind of wanted to go to my school, but my car's been giving me problems, so I don't know if it can make the few hour trip back to my school, but I wanted to say bye to my friends and stuff. I don't know if I'll make it, so I'm gonna do that today. I know I'm gonna go to the beach Monday with my mom before I leave to Spain Tuesday, so. I'm gonna try and record more often today. I've been slacking, but today's Saturday. I have less on my plate, so let's get after it. You could do all of that with no gym. All I had was a fence. I did three sets of pull-ups, three sets of push-ups, three sets of dips, and three sets of incline push-ups. That's all you need, as many reps as possible for every set. That's all you need, and I'm sweating, my heart is up, and I feel like I got a good pump. So, I'm gonna go shower, get dressed, hopefully do something else today. What's good with it? So, recap, after the workout, I chilled home, waited for my mom to get back to chill with her for a little bit. I had another protein bar and another protein shake because I got hungry. And I got some mail. I got that, that FNX gear. It feels nice, it's nice and nice and comfy. So it's, I know for a fact I can use it for performance. And at the same time, I can use it for um, just regular lifestyle like I'm doing right now. Just going out with it, driving. So probably asking, official flat fitness, where you headed, bud? I'm going back to school, I know, it's crazy, I'm crazy. But I'm gonna make the trip back to school. So I'm driving all the way back to PA because School starts soon and all my friends are there, so I want to say I want to say my farewells to them. I want to have a good time with them, so I'm going to do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these past couple of days. I've know, I know they weren't filled with a lot of vlogging. They weren't filmed a lot, but that's just because I didn't do a lot. You know what I mean? What I did, you saw. Woke up, ate and repeat and pack repeat and today i didn't have that much to do so i was able to you know go outside do a nice 15 minutes of of calisthenics and 15 minutes must, might not sound like a lot but 15 minutes of body workouts they get you tired they get you sweaty you're outside it's sunny so it's a lot especially when I haven't really been working out that much, I haven't been able to work out that much. But I had a good workout. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the film from that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was a nice few days. And today is Saturday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace! It's Sunday. Sunday fun day, baby. Sunday hump day, baby. Sunday, not Monday, baby. What's good? Yeah, it's Sunday. It's to me, since I haven't been working, it's like every day Sunday, every day Saturday. I don't even know the days anymore. If I wasn't making these videos, I wouldn't even be remembering the days, to be honest with you. But I'm on my way back. From the, from school, I'm on my way back from school, you know what I mean? I had a blast, I had a good time, saw my friends, you know? 
I'm on my way back home. It's gonna be a few hours. So I'm gonna take this time to relax, detox my body, you know, be careful what I take inside my body. Crush one of these bad boys, cause I'm like that. And uh, I won't, I'm probably not gonna eat until I get back. So the drive is around three hours, so. That's good enough. I'll come. I'll go back, have some oatmeal, some protein bars, and then it's Monday, beach day, baby. And then Tuesday, I'm out. <laughs> Monday's beach day, and Tuesday, I'm out. Monday is beach day, and Tuesday is my last day in America. Wow. Wow. Anyways. I'm excited, Fly Fit Fam. I'm excited, Fly Fit Fam. I am excited. A lot, a lot, a lot's gonna be going on. So stay tuned. Stick with me. Bear with me. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Subscribe. All that blah blah. What am I? What I'm a e, what I'm a e, I know what I'm a e. A pure protein. Shut. Sure. Three twenty p.m. Still Sunday. Uh it's the pool party. My favorite. Love them. I love pool parties. So going to my. Going to my auntie's house. Can I have a pool party? It's gonna be food. A lot of food. So that's why it's 320. Look at my pool outfit. So cute. So cute. Get my toes in it. I guess you guys are probably tired of seeing my toes. But I don't care. There's gonna be a lot of food. There's gonna be a lot of fam friends fun so the only thing in my stomach right now is two packets of oatmeal protein bar protein shake and a lot a lot a lot of water so i'm gonna enjoy myself when i get to the party i probably won't record it i probably will record some but if i don't forgive me sorry not sorry It's Monday. <clears throat> We're getting down to my last day in America. Can you believe that? I can't. So the plan for today is it's 11.30 in the morning. I'm gonna have my first meal, which is the reggae. Oatmeal, protein bar, protein shake. And then we're going to the beach. I'm gonna be at the beach for a few hours, have a good time, swim, eat some boardwalk food, relax, tan, come back, do last minute stuff that I need to do, make sure everything is ready. That's gonna be basically my Monday. So, hopefully we get some beach footage. Peace. No, no, no. What's up? So, oh, the beach was beautiful. As you guys saw, the beach was amazing. I'm thirsty. Get some water. Hold up. I can't, I can't, I can't open it with one, with one hand.
the beach was <laughs> the beach was beautiful. It was beautiful. Pros cons. Pros beauty. Pros scenery. Pros cleanliness. Cons. Not a lot of people. That could be good, but when there's really like not that many people, it kind of is like a weird environment. If I if you can kind of grasp what I'm saying, um, and it was just a dead sea like. It was clean, it was nice, everything was clean, but there was no waves, nobody was really in the water. So, um, it wasn't like I was in there for mad long, mad hours, just like, ah, whatever. So, I was basically really just working on my tan. Anyways, after that, we went to this amazing spot called Tommy's Tavern. Um, I had... A personal pizza. I know. It was brick oven. It was thin. And I also had an appetizer, which was... It was an avocado boat. Yeah, avocado boat. So it was half an avocado. And then where the pit leaves a dent, um, they put lobster in it. It was amazing. And mind you, it was at this time... It was around 4 p.m., so I had, like, a lot of time, and it was already late, and I ate that, and it's now 10, and I haven't eaten anything. So, I wasn't able to account that for my macros, but I was stuffed. I was, I was stuffed, so I guess it was a lot of food. Like, at this point now, when I don't have a scale, and if I'm going out, and I was hanging with my mom at the beach, and I know I'm, I'm leaving, so she wanted to be with me, so I didn't want to be like, oh, wait, I need to only go places where I could track my cows, mom. No, like, this is the last Fat to Fit episode. I've done phenomenally well in just um these three to four weeks. I'm really proud of myself. I feel... Um, I feel good, maintain my strength. I've lost close to to 15 pounds, and I'm that's all I can say about it. I started at 190. Um, you couldn't really see any. You, it was just fat. It was fat. You, just, I was fat, and well, to me personally. And then you know, I I got down. I'm nowhere near shredded, nowhere near all this definitions, striations. None of that, but I'm very proud of my progress in just such a short time. So, this is my last episode, and today is Monday. It is 10 p.m. I wish I vlogged more. I wish I did more. I wish I exercised more. I wish I recorded what I ate more. I wish I was more interactive and engaging these few days like I've been, like I am. But you just can't really imagine the amount of stress that this whole process has been unless you've been in my shoes. So it's just been packing, 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 making sure I have everything situated. My passport, my boarding pass, where I'm going. Is my flight non-stop or is it one stop? If it's one stop, where I'm stopping? How long is the layover? And making sure I get my luggage, making sure everything's copacetic and cohesive and the whole process is just fluid. For me, that's most important. I stress now so that the process is fluid. I do all my research now so that the process fluid. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this fat to fit transformation because I honestly did. I hope you guys learned a bunch about how discipline doesn't mean being super strict. It just means consistency. And I hope you guys understand that consistency yields the results. No matter what it is, consistency yields the results. So that's the last fat to fit Transformation episode. We're stopping at episode 11. Oh my gosh, my OCD. Uh, But I'll see you guys for the next vlog or episode or journey. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.